<laughs> okay. Oh my God. You're alive, Pastor. All right. Welcome. Good morning, everybody. Good Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. And we want to welcome to you, welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Yes. Bienvenidos. Y a la iglesia el nuevo comienzo. So we want to welcome all of those of you that are joining us by audio or video. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio o video. All we ask you to do is to hook on and receive what God has for you. Yeah. I just told the congregation here, regardless of who's up here, man or one, woman of God, pray for them. Says, Lord, you have something for me and they're going to speak it out. And I'm going to receive it. And you got to be listening to it. Amen. That means you got to be tuned in in the spirit. Amen. Yeah. Not in the flesh judging and saying, well, that's not good enough. Uh -huh. And uh, remember, we've been talking about attitude. I'm going to have the right attitude. Uh -huh. I'm going to have the attitude to receive what God has for me. Uh -huh. Because he's Heavenly Father. We're his children. And he wants to bless us. He wants to encourage us. And he wants to correct us. So regardless, you know, stay tuned. I've got something. You've got something. Somebody need to hear that. Amen. Yeah. So yeah. praise God. I also was telling the congregation, while I was, while, while praise team was up, and I was enjoying the praise and, and just uh, into it, uh, I saw this. It hangs on our wall here. And those of you that are watching by audio, and those of you that are listening, this is what it says. It's a picture that says, leave it at the cross. Yeah. Those of you that are watching, those of you have a video. There you go. Can you read it? It says, go. leave it at the cross. Mm -hmm. You know, so many times we take our trash to the dumpster and leave it there. Mm -hmm. And we never take it back. You know, mm -hmm. we want it to stay there. But a lot of times we come to God and says, cast it on me. And uh -huh. we cast all, all cares, all anxieties, all worries, all these problems on him. Mm -hmm. And guess what? When we leave his presence, <laughs> we take it right back. Yeah. It's time we leave it at the cross. Yeah, yeah. He died for us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It, it paid, for, paid, for all, paid for all of it. Amen. 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 So we got to leave it at the cross yes, and let it stay there. You know, regardless if, if the enemy comes back. Uh -huh. He uses people, he uses thoughts, you know, to just say, it didn't work. It's okay. He says, that's not for me. I left it at the cross, and it's going to stay at the cross. Yeah. Amen. Jesus paid a price he didn't owe, and we owe a debt we cannot pay. Amen. So, remember that. That's yeah. for somebody. So, yeah. leave it at the cross. Next time you <laughs> want to pick it up, say, oh, nope, oh. it's at the cross. So, yes. we want to leave it there. Amen. So, praise God. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Amen. Yes. And our message today is going to be about count your blessings. <laughs> if you want to have a at good attitude, if you want to have an attitude, have a good attitude. Count your blessings. If you've never done that before, it's time you do. Amen. Yeah. I'm just going to give, give you a quick nugget here. But uh, count your blessings. This year, I made a New Year resolution to be thankful and grateful every single day of the year. I have to say the results were amazing. Oh. When you focus on the good and the blessings outweigh, you know, uh, we say it like this, you're too blessed to be stressed. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why are you stressed? Because yeah. you forgot about your blessings. Right. Count your blessings. We're going to be talking, maybe even saying it. Might get past the same for you. <laughs> <laughs> count your blessings. Says count them one by one. Yeah. You know, yeah. and uh, matter of fact, I wanted to open up with uh with, 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 with a little funny one of our congregation members here I just uh, gave us a, a nice uh, funny but uh, I'm going to give you another one and you probably heard it also but you know what when you give your story you give it your way I'm going to give it my way <laughs> yeah. mom and dad sitting the little boy is so excited the little five year old he comes up and says ah, I've learned to learn count, count to five can you count? Let me count to you. He says, one, two, three, four, five. And one of them, I don't know, you could say mom or dad. Mom or dad said, say, uh, well, can you count any higher than that? He says, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's higher. <laughs> those of you not watching, those of you listening, the little boy comes up and he's got his hand down to the bottom and he counts one, two, three, four, five. And they say, can you count higher? And he raises his hand up and he counts again. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's, I'm counting higher. You know what? <laughs> Sometimes, you know, we used to have a show called, uh, what was it, Art Link Letter. Uh, I forgot the name of the show. But anyway, he says, kids say the darnest things. And they do. And sometimes they just say, wow, I should have known that. But you know, they're a blessing. Yeah. They're a blessing to us. So count your blessings. 
You see, gratitude changes our perspective of our overview, of our outlook on life. It's impossible to be thankful and negative at the same time. Why don't you practice being more thankful than negative? Why don't you be positive instead of negative? Mm -hmm. Remember, we're still talking about attitude. Yes. Amen? Attitude. Have the right attitude. Psalms 100 verse 4 says, Enter his gates with what? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And enter his courts with praise. Amen? Not, <laughs> there's nothing there about negative. Maybe, and Jesus needs to just grab us sometime and say, if you want to come visit me, yeah. <laughs> have a good attitude. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, I don't know, maybe that's for somebody. <laughs> when I choose to give thanks to God for the blessings in, our, in my life, we are literally ushering ourselves into His presence. Uh -huh. It makes our hearts, it fills our hearts with love, yeah. with peace, with joy, with hope. This is yes. what we all want. Amen. Mm -hmm. As we come into His presence. Yes. You know, why do we walk away? Amen. Mm. We've talked about taking breaks. We'll take a scripture break. <laughs> yes. And get into his word. Amen. And don't allow the world to just sidetrack you and, and just right. wipe you away. Amen. Yes. So I choose to be grateful. I notice that having a thankful or a grateful attitude has the power to turn around a bad day to a good day. Yes. Amen. So you can change it. Amen. You can change it. Speak it out. Let it out. Don't just hold back, you know. But you have the power. You or or the Bible says we had God has given us gave us the authority. Amen. And the authority is in his word. And we gotta use his word. Say, well, yes. regardless of how bad things are going, regardless of all the bad news going around, right. I'm gonna use my authority. I'm gonna you know what? I'm going to speak the word. Yes. Amen. And I'm gonna have a good day. You can have a bad day if you want to. But yeah. you know what? You don't have to. Amen. What we're saying is having a, uh, a lost person being sad, that's that's not that's not bad. The bad thing is a born again Christian being lost or being sad. Mm -hmm. Powerless. Yes. No word. Yeah, yeah. yeah I confess Jesus, my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. But you're in the dumps. Why? Right. Right. Remember we talked about this last week. Christians, believers, should be the happiest people on yes. earth. Why? Because we have Him. Amen. Amen. Woo, come on now. <laughs> Bad attitude or good attitude is your choice. Amen. Nobody else. You can't blame nobody else. Oh, man. That's just, we haven't even started yet. <laughs> we can be strengthened by God's love, refreshed by God, His Word, and fully energized to press on in our journey of faith. Yeah. As you step out, you say we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk out in faith and not by fear. Mm -hmm. You know, if you tune into the sad news every day, oh, man. I mean, they put some fear on you. That's but he's not giving us a spirit of fear, mm -hmm. with a power of love and of a sound mind. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I said, wait a minute. I'm not believing that. Mm -hmm. Amen. They're just telling you things, but you don't have to receive them. That's Instead right. of focusing on a negative Instead of uh, constantly focusing on anything and everything that is going, uh, not going as planned, we can choose to remember the good things yeah. He is doing and celebrate and say hallelujah and concentrate on the count your blessings yes. mm -hmm. and not your losses. Yeah. Amen. You know, you can write this somewhere and practice it every day. I'm too blessed to be stressed. Mm -hmm. You can see it. You can put that anywhere, but mainly in your mind. Because we're to renew our minds with the Word of God. Amen. And you can bring it up every time. I'm too blessed to be stressed. You know, I'm not receiving that. That's not for me. Can you say that? Mm -hmm. Delete. Can you say delete? <laughs> say, no, oh, that's not for me. <laughs> and say, you know, friends, families, and all kinds of peoples, you know, uh, <laughs> will come to you and share these things with you. Yes. But you say, wait a minute, put it on the shelf. That's yes. not for me. Woo, I'm excited. Can you tell I'm excited? Yeah. Well, you can get excited too. Grab your sword, sword your God, <laughs> and let's say it like we we'll mean it. Amen. Yes. Here it is. This is my. This Bible. is my Bible. I, I am what it is. I am. I have what it is. I have. I can do what it is. I can do today. I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. 
Yeah. I don't want to be the same. I don't want to be the same as yesterday. Yeah. I don't want to be like nobody else. I want to be the original God made me to be. Yeah. Some of us are trying to be a copy mm. and copy somebody else. Mm -hmm. He says, be imitators of Christ. Yeah. Amen. Uh, uh, Ephesians 5, 1 and 2. And he amplified mm -hmm. it. talks about to be, he's, he, he, we're to imitate him. Yeah, Amen. Right. So if I'm going to imitate him, yeah. I don't go around saying things or doing things that I'm not supposed to. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, praise God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Are you happy? Don't yeah. throw nothing that faster. Let me see your hands. Make sure they're empty. <laughs> I'm only the messenger. <laughs> praise God. Well, anyway, we want to bless you. Count your blessings. Amen. The priest team just sang a song, and uh, I love it. It says, count your blessings. You didn't even leave me a copy up here. I don't have a copy. Count your blessings. Count them one by one. Let me see. Is it up here? There you go. No. Oh, here we go. Count your blessings. Man, if you don't have this, get it and sing it for yourself. Sometimes you got to sing these things for yourself. But it says, um, when upon life's uh, bills you are tempted toss. When you're discouraged, thinking of all, all is lost. Uh -huh. It says, count your many blessings, name them one by one, yes. and it will yes. surprise you what, what the Lord you? has yes. done. Yes. Amen. Yes. Come on now, count your blessings. Yes. Why are you still there sad and doom and gloom? <laughs> <laughs> Don't invite me to that party, okay? <laughs> Best thing for you to do is change the attitude and yes. start changing your words and your actions. Yes. Amen. And start counting those blessings. You know yes. why? Well, God never blesses me. Yes. Well, you know what? It's called relationship. Yeah. Get a relationship with it. Yes. And also it's called commitment. <clears throat> you make a commitment to spend yeah. time with him. Yes. Okay? And have an awesome relationship with him, you know. Yes. And you get before him and you know what? It's just he'll energize you. Yes. So, you know, regardless of what's going on out there, it's called this. That's right. <laughs> This is the day the Lord has made. Yes. I will rejoice yes. and be glad in it. It says, I will. Yeah. Okay, I will. You have to rejoice and be glad in it. Regardless of the situations, regardless of what's going on. Yes. Hey, thank you, Lord, for blessing me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. It says, count your blessings. Give thanks to the Lord with a grateful attitude. And count your blessings. I love this song. Give uh, thanks and uh Giving thanks and being uh, grateful. I'm just trying to read my writing here. Well, give thanks for your blessings. Keep going. Yeah. I like this. That's some great slides for you. When you think of all your blessings, give thanks to God. Mm -hmm. You know, He don't bless you just because, wow, me, look who I am. Hey, if I'm going to brag on me, <laughs> I'm going to brag on my God. Yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, and thank you for blessing me. Yeah. And you know, <laughs> it, it makes people either jealous or it makes them come and want to ask you, mm -hmm. why are you always being blessed? Mm -hmm. Why are you always walking around with a good attitude? Mm -hmm. Why are you always smiling? Mm -hmm. They open the door. So you walk in and you say, because Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he can be yours too. Yeah. All you have to do is confess him as your Lord and Savior. You say, just repent. Amen. That was for somebody. I don't know who you are, but you know, you know, you know who you, it's you. <laughs> Amen. It's time to Stop living with a bad attitude. It's time to stop living lost. Yes. You've been found. Amen. I didn't find yes. Jesus. He found me. Because yes. <laughs> he never got lost. <laughs> I was lost. But now I'm found. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Come on. I'm preaching better. You ain't mad at me. <laughs> Keep going, Carmen. Count your blessings and give thanks to the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Amen. If you don't know what else to say, say thank you. Amen. Amen. And you know what? If you're crying and you're before him and worshiping him, he can read those those tears. And he, yes. he knows what you're meaning. Amen. Praise God. Keep going. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your many blessings and see what the Lord has done. Yes. He's done many things in your life. Amen. Yes. As a matter of fact, the only reason you're here is because he's blessed you. Yes. <laughs> You know, granny, mom, somebody. Those are the kinds of friends that you have. Some mm -hmm. friends that have prayed for you yeah. and got you where you are. That's it. Amen. And you never, you never know. But you know what? One day, when you get to heaven, 
They're going to come up to you. Uh -huh. Or you're going to walk up to them. Or the Lord's going to tell you, because of this person you never knew, mm -hmm. they prayed for you. They got you to the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Many of us have been there. But many, of, many of us came to God because of somebody praying for us. That's, that's right. the friend you never knew. And that's the kind of friend you need in your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Whew. Not the ones that, yeah, I'll meet you at the bar. <laughs> Believers should give thanks. Well, keep going. We got a scripture coming. It says Sunday is what? Sunday is the perfect day to refuel your soul and to be grateful for each and every one of your blessings. Well, scratch Sunday off. <laughs> Just say every day. Every day. <laughs> every day. Every day is the perfect day to refuel your soul and be grateful for each and every one of your blessings. Every day. Get before him. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to ask for. I don't know what to beg for. You don't have to beg. <laughs> Just get up there and say thank you, Lord, for the blessings. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> When you give yourself to him, uh -huh. he's going to give himself back to you yes, yes. many times over. Yeah. And you can never give God just one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to bless you over to overflowing. Yes, Amen. Yes. Ooh, yeah. Come on. Come on now. Somebody needs to hear that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep going, Carmen. Thank you. There we go. This is the scripture I was looking for. John 3, 16. New King James. For God so loved the world, God so loved you. Amen. We, we, that's us. <laughs> that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Yes. If you want everlasting life, if you, you know, if you, you hear people say, you know, hey, after life, that's, it's over. It's done. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Not if you're reading the Bible. Mm -hmm. If you're reading the word of God, it's not over. That's only the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> that's only the beginning. So, for some of us, this is the only hell you'll ever know, <laughs> living here, because this is not our home. Heaven is our home. We're just yeah. passing through. Amen? But you got to read that, and you got to find out. But God loved us so much. Yeah. He sacrificed his son, and he paid for everything at the cross, and that's where this came in. It says, <laughs> leave it all at the cross. Jesus paid for it all. He didn't forget anything. That's right. You know? He paid it all at the cross. It's all paid for. <laughs> Praise God. Believers should give thanks to him daily. Go to the next one, Colonel. Mm -hmm. Here we go. First Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18 says, Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. ceasing. <laughs> in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Amen. Pray. And it says, uh, give thanks to him. Give thanks to him. All these are thanking him. Thank you, Lord. And you know what? Give it with an attitude of gratitude. It's the yes. best attitude. Gratitude is the best attitude you can have. Amen. Amen. Just like love. Agape love is the highest love there could be. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world. That's agape love. Yes. He loved us so much. He sacrificed his son. Mm -hmm. Can't go any higher than that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Attitude of gratitude changes depressions to joy. Frowns to smile. Gratitude, being grateful, mm -hmm. being thankful, being appreciative. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. Yes. Amen. That's very simple. It's a simple message, but that's okay. You know what? It's so simple. <laughs> what we got to do is we have to grab it. Yeah. We have to grab it and do something with it. Amen. Amen. We got to put it in use in, our, in ourselves, yeah. in our lives. Amen. And uh, keep going. Our next scripture. Oh, his, well, we already gone through this one. It says, this is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. It says, this is the day which the Lord has made. We, you can change the we to I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you will put your name there. I will rejoice mm -hmm. and be glad in it. Are you yes. thankful for this day? Yeah. You know, every day, don't be sad for each and every day mm -hmm. until Friday comes and Oh, thank mm -hmm. God it's Friday. We get yeah. so I'm so happy. <laughs> no, every day. Even Monday. <laughs> yes. Monday, 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 Tuesday, mm -hmm. every single day. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Every day mm -hmm. of the week, every day of the month, every day of the year. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Man, it's just a getting into a habit, getting yes. into a lifestyle of doing these yes. things. Amen. Amen. So, giving thanks, the next one. Here we go. 
Psalms 107 verse 1 says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is yeah. good, good, for his steadfast love mm -hmm. endureth forever. Amen. Amen. So it's all about giving thanks. And why are we thanking him so much? Because of the blessings. We're counting our blessings yeah. just like the little boy, man. He can only yeah. go to five, but you know, we can keep going six, seven, eight, uh -huh. and on and on and on because he's blessed us so much, you know. Yes. So, so much. Let every day be a day of giving thanks. And count your blessings. Forget all your situations. Yes. Forget all your cares, your anxieties. Forget about coronavirus or COVID-19. <laughs> and remember what Jesus has done. Yes. Remember all your blessings. Remember what Jesus has done. Yes. He went to the cross. Yes. And we're to leave it at the cross. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah. And remember what he's done. You know, we forget. When we don't have a relationship, we tend to walk away. When you're not plugged yes. into the source, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's no heat. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so you unplug and you walk away. Mm -hmm. Just like a prodigal son. Mm -hmm. And guess what? The world's going to take you. Mm -hmm. We've said it over and over and over, but part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. That's it. And when you unplug from God, you're going to be part-time. Mm -hmm. And you keep unplugging yourself and plugging yourself once in a while, you're only part-time. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says, be hot or cold. I can, I can take that. He oh, says, but wow. what I can't take is lukewarm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he says, don't do that. Don't go with the lukewarm stuff, you know. You're going to please the world and you're going to please God. Be a God pleaser. He says, I'd rather you please me or please the world, but don't be in between. Mm -hmm. Lukewarm or lukewarm. Mm -hmm. So be hot for him. Stay hot for him. Yes. Amen. I know some of you have, have, are discouraged. Some of you are down because uh, football season is over. <laughs> and your team lost. You. you know, that's what we go by. That's how we judge ourselves that's how we regulate ourselves you know mm -hmm. it's like what's what's what, what's hot what's cold mm -hmm. no stay hot for jesus yes. amen stay hot for jesus that's and it. you won't have a sad day in your life that's it. <laughs> amen that's another thing people get mad at how come you never say it how come you never say anything bad mm. once again they open the door you walk in yeah and you let them know don't 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 keep your mouth closed Right. <laughs> you got to speak it out right. and you got to let them know they were bold enough to tell you why are you always like this and then you got to come back and say because Jesus is my Lord and Savior why well, do you want to hear that well you asked me so I'm telling you if you don't like me here saying Jesus then Jesus 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 <laughs> and more Jesus <laughs> first time I, I've been saying Jesus all my life. You know, that's my that's my that's my little brother. <laughs> His name is Jesus. Okay, so I've been calling Jesus forever. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Jesus, my Lord and Savior. Yeah, my brother. Yeah. <laughs> but I love him too. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, okay. Leave it. Leave it right there. <laughs> Count your blessings. Yes. They are. They far outweigh the things that you're so busy complaining about. Oh yes. Some of us are. Complaining champions. Oh boy! <laughs> hey, you want to hear a complaint? Go to sister so and so, or go to brother so and so. Man, no matter what you say, they'll top you. Oh boy! <laughs> no matter what, they've got a better one. Oh, and you know, so, these are some people who we go to yeah. for advice. Oh my gosh! You go to these people that help you, and they say, "Well, enough to help you," but you know what? Ah, uh -huh. I'm doing worse. Mm. I'm bad. I'm worse. You know, the best thing I do is I just take me a drink. <laughs> well, I just get high or whatever. You know, the best high is Jesus. Man. Amen. Oh, no side effects. Praise oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, God. I, I, you know, I was going to tell you this before I started. And, uh, a good speaker always says this. We're not going to hold you long today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when you say that, we're not going to hold you long. Um, it just opens up their ears, opens yeah. up their hearts. Say, wow, we won't be long. You know, we can go to the game. We can go whatever. Just say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So I'm more at ease to hear what 
you have to say because we won't be gone. We're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna be singing uh, uh, two hours of uh, praise and worship before Pastor comes and gives you five hours of uh, <laughs> whatever God has. You know? like, oh my God! I say I think I think the first five minutes was God and the all the rest was Pastor. You know? That's not me. <laughs> I don't do that. Amen. I just give you what God wants me to give you. Amen. But He wants me to tell you. Count your blessings. Yes. Amen. That's His love for us. He wants us to know that He loves us and He's blessing us. Amen. Yes, yes. So praise God. Keep going, Colonel. Here we go. Psalms 2 and 1 says, It is what? It is good. good thing. A good thing to give thanks it's unto the thing. Lord. And to sing praise. That's a beautiful song. Yes. And to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. Yes. Sing a song once in a while. <laughs> Some people say I can't sing, but I can sing to God and He never turns me down. <laughs> he always listens to me. Yes. Amen. But you can sing on the hymn and you know when yes. people run away from you, that's too bad because I wasn't singing for them. I was singing yes, for Him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was making a joyful noise and they couldn't hear it so they blasted off. Psalms 92 and 1, oh. King James. It is a good thing. To give yes. thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. O Most High. Give thanks and praise Him for blessings so abundantly. Yes. Amen. And the next one says, should be this one. <laughs> John 10, 10. Says the thief, the enemy, the devil, cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I, Jesus, Amen. have come that you might have life yes. and that ye, they might have it more abundantly Amen. he wants you to have life not only have life but he says i want you to have life more abundantly yes. so lord i want to be in the more abundantly yes. and you know what's going to get you over into the more abundantly is relationship <laughs> and doing what he's asked you to do amen and confessing his word and doing what his word says amen, amen. and being on his mission and fulfilling his mission that's what's going to get you into the more abundantly. And when you're in the more abundantly, that's when people walk up to you and say, why are you always in the abundantly? <laughs> Again, that's a good time to come on in and let them know, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I'm tired of being Jesus. Well, you know what? If you're tired, then join the team. <laughs> come join the team and then you can say it yourself. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. More abundant. Amen. The next. Mm. If you don't recognize this, it says, Do not be anxious about anything, mm. but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving. <laughs> Present. Present your request to the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, that's Philippians 4, 6. Amen. Amen. Present your request to the Lord. Whatever you have, come to Him. But it says with thanksgiving. You don't have to be mad or upset. This is Lord. I need. I need you. How many yes. times do you think Jesus went to God? Mm. He says, Father, I need you. Remember, He's a human. He never sinned, but He's human, and He feels pressures. He feels uh, things happening. He's in the world, and there's pressures in the world. <laughs> For him, knowing that he's going to be sacrificed, yeah. Lord, I need your strength to walk this walk. Mm -hmm. You know, to give your life. Lord, can you take this from me? Mm -hmm. Why don't you take this from me? How many times he said it? Mm -hmm. Take this cup from me. Why? Because he felt the pressures. Mm -hmm. But not my will, Father. Amen. Your will be right. done. Will. Amen. Amen. So we need right. to know this. We can go to the Father. <laughs> I need your help. And not my will, but you will be done in my life. I can do all things through Christ, through Christ who strengthens me. When I get his strength, I know that I can do all things. Amen. Amen. So can you. And not only that, he says his strength is a joy to you. Mm -hmm. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. Yes. <laughs> so praise God. Amen. I, I never lose. <laughs> Why? Because 
I'm on Jesus' side. So get yourself on Jesus' side and you won't get upset when I say Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Amen. Uh, um, um, if you have your Bibles, open up to uh, Psalms 100. This is a, a psalm that uh, you can read on a daily basis. I know it. I've, since the time I came to Christ, I know this. And uh, been reading it for, forever. Amen. Amen. Are you there? Yes. It says, Psalms 100. We're going to read the whole thing. Five verses. It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with sadness. Gladness. Oh, gladness. <laughs> Come before his presence with sadness. Singing. No, I'm singing. Okay. <laughs> know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For what? The Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth through all generations, forever, for eternity. So, praise God. You know, you want to sing a song? You know, all the psalms is a book of songs, you know? <laughs> so, it's a psalm of giving thanks. So, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Into his courts with praise. Believers, listen. Three, I got three little things I wrote here. Believers, be glad and give thanks daily. Believers should be the happiest, most joyful people on earth. How can you be an influence if you're always sad? How can you be an influence to somebody when you're always in the dumps? How can you be an influence to somebody when, when you're always down and out? Mm -hmm. You know, when people see you up and up, say, that's what I want. They see the Jesus in you. Amen. They see you up and up. Happy, joyful. Yeah. <laughs> say, man, that's what I want. They just got to make, take that walk across the line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just got to make that confession. Yes. If they confess with their heart, the Lord Jesus, and believe in their heart, the guy is, you know, he, is, he will accept them. Amen. God love For God so loved the world, He died for everybody. Yes. Not just for somebody. So what's the third one? Third one is, we're too blessed to be stressed mm -hmm. or ungrateful. <laughs> you know, if you're ungrateful or, or uh, that means you're not counting your blessings. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be like that little boy. You got to count past five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> Learn to count past five because you've been blessed more than five times. Amen. We're too blessed to be stressed mm -hmm. or ungrateful. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> There's another one. You can write this down. You can read it on your own. But it's uh, Psalms 103, verse 1 through 5. It's a praise for the Lord's mercies. Keep going, Tony. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Here we go. We well, use just another one, Psalm 68. It's all over the Word of God, okay? Yes. With Psalm 68, 19, King James says, Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with what? Benefits. Benefits. <laughs> Even the God of our salvation, Selah. Yeah. Daily. Yeah. Daily blesses us with benefits. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, when you're in a relationship, mm -hmm. you know this. And you you sense it and you receive it. Say, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm so blessed. Yes, yeah. you're so blessed. Too blessed to be stressed. So why yeah. are you stressing out? Yeah. <laughs> Give thanks because the Lord forgives our sins, heals all our sicknesses, heals all our diseases, mm -hmm. redeems us from destruction, Amen. <laughs> saves us from the pit. Yes. I got fire insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So you know that uh, what what they say that uh, drop road and <laughs> drop road and roll. <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna help in hell. Okay, <laughs> none of that, none of that is gonna help you in, in hell. Okay, so <laughs> you're gonna be doing that all your lifetime. <laughs> so gives us his loving kindness and mercy. Yeah. Amen. You ever heard of uh, love and compassion? Yeah. That's the best you can do. Yeah. Give your love, his love, and his mm -hmm. compassion. Amen. Don't walk around 
as a believer just feeling sorry for people when you have him in you and you can give his love and his compassion amen, amen. be kind give some you got so many things to give and mm -hmm. we've talked about this but you've got so many things to give yeah. besides just your finances. Well, I know pastor was going to get to that. And all he wants is finances all the time. Give your finances. No. you got Jesus to give. you got a smile. you got a good, a kind thing to say. Yes. you got time. you got all kinds of things that, that you can give. Yeah. Give of yourself. Yes. Amen. Amen. God is looking for right. availability, not abilities. Right. So are you available to him? Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. <laughs> if you're unavailable, nobody can have you. Mm -hmm. But if you're available, Lord, I'm available yes, to you. Yes, yes. He's going to use you. Yes. Amen. He called you and he wants to use you, but mm -hmm. you're unavailable. Mm -hmm. And he's not going to force himself on you. That's right. So you have to make yourself available. Right. Yes. And I've got all these abilities, mm -hmm. but I'm unavailable. So I have to make myself available. Yes. Lord, here am I. Use me. That's right. Big or small, it don't matter about big things. How's he going to use me to do big things or little things? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Right. Just make yes. yourself available right. and do it under him yes. and not under man. I'm just going to do something big so people can see me. No, no I'm going to do it under him. Amen. Come clean this church when nobody's watching. <laughs> Amen. And know you're all by yourself and nobody's helping you. And... Uh, I say, well, you know, hey, I don't, I don't care if the place is dirty. I don't care if I skip this or skip that. Whatever you happen to be doing, Lord, I'm going to do this as if you're, you're going to be here. And I'm going to do this under you because, you know, I'm serving yeah. you. Amen. Amen. When you have that attitude, God, you're making yourself available and God's going to use you. Yes. Amen. It's not about big or small. Okay. It's about giving giving yourself and giving your heart to him amen, amen. it's called commitment yes amen Ooh, come on now <laughs> and gives us plenty of good things to eat hallelujah yes. i can smell something in the kitchen already. <laughs> and it smells good <laughs> thank you all of you that brought something good thank you lord <laughs> renewal of your health and strength thank you lord and i'm healthy every day Thank you that you woke me up this morning. Yes. Thank you that I was on your wake-up list. Yeah. Amen. Some of us may wake up in heaven. Some of us hopefully not wake up in hell, you know. But uh, <laughs> no. I'm glad he woke me up this morning. And that was yes. the first blessing. Yes. Waking me up. That was That's yes. a blessing. Yes. That's a miracle. Yes. And that's also let you know <laughs> God is in my life. Yes. Amen. Some of us don't receive that. No, some of us see it different. Mm -hmm. Oh man, another day to go work. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm so tired already. I could just stay in bed. <laughs> just had to blow the whole thing away. You know, oh, have a bad attitude about the whole day. Uh-huh. Change your attitude. Attitude yes. means a whole lot. Yes, and it does. I think it was uh, attitude is the little thing that makes a big difference. Yes. So <laughs> you get that attitude right. We also say uh, attitude is like a flat tire. Mm -hmm. Can't go anywhere with, until you change it. Mm -hmm. Change your attitude before you go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Praise right. God. So anyway, uh, here we go. Bless the Lord. Uh, Psalms 103 and 2 says, Bless the Lord of my soul mm -hmm. and forget not all his benefits. Okay? Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits. So we don't have to forget about him. You know, some of us... Uh, uh, get to doing real good and we unplug ourselves mm. and say hey I'll see you later until we have a crash oh, or we, we have something bad happen and then we oh. come back oh, crawling yeah. back to, to God mm -hmm. and he'll take us back but it shouldn't be this way yeah. remember right. his blessings yes. remember his benefits amen Yes. that's what he wants us to do be grateful mm -hmm. be grateful have a grateful attitude Whew. come on now yeah <laughs> Uh, from here, we're going to be talking about uh, reasons we should be uh, give thanks. One of them, the first one, um, should be give thanks for His presence in your life. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's right. Give thanks for his, your, his presence in your life. I know His presence in my life. I don't know about you, 
But you know, if you don't have him in your presence, then it's time to say, Lord, <laughs> I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. It's that easy. Yes. And he'll come. You know what? He wants to hear from you. Mm -hmm. you, you need to confess it with your mouth. Mm -hmm. When you say it, when you say it, he'll come to you. Yes. Amen. And from then on, just know he's going to ease in your presence. You know why? Because he says, and uh, that's one of our scriptures, is uh, Hebrews 13, 5 says, he'll never leave you and he'll never forsake you. Mm. He's always with you. Amen. So those times you unplugged from him and you walked away and you thought he didn't see or he didn't hear or didn't know what you was doing, he knows you better than anybody else. Ah, ah, ah. And he still takes you back. Yes. Yes. He still takes you back when you come back to him, you know. He, he opens his arms and receives you, just like Father received the prodigal son. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we need, we need to know this. The best thing to do is not to walk away. Yes. You know, when you're doing good, say, Lord, I'm doing good because of you. Yes. I'm doing right. good because of all the blessings you've given me. Amen. Amen. So I just want to thank you. Mm -hmm. When you make Father happy, he wants to bless his children. Yes. <laughs> right. Amen. When your children bless, when your children make you happy, you just want to bless them and bless them and bless them. Mm -hmm. Even when they're bad, you bless them. Yeah. <laughs> Lay a hand or two on them, you know. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Give them a blessing. Yeah. <laughs> they <laughs> say people deserve us when we need them. Come on now. Uh -huh. People walk away when we need them. Yeah. What kind of friends do you have? Uh -huh. The Lord is with us at all times and in all situations. Yes. The Lord never left us. That's we right. left we left him uh -huh. as a prodigal son, a prodigal daughter, you know, yes. just just walk away. You know? How long you've been gone? The journey is up to you. You can stay gone as long as you want to and suffer as long as you want to, mm -hmm. but you don't have to. That's right. it. Amen. Right. I don't care who told you about right. that he never take you back. Mm -hmm. But it's time to come back to Father. Yes. Come back Amen. and uh, receive Him. Amen. Say, Lord, I've done you wrong. I've sinned against you. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want to come back home. Father says, come. Mm -hmm. He'll receive you with open arms. Amen. Yes. So listen to this. Noah, Moses, Abraham, Gideon, Jonah, Job, David, Joseph, Jesus. Just a few Bible heroes <laughs> that never left. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lord used them mightily. And he wants to use you also. You know why you're here? Because God calls you. I don't know why we go around saying, well, I'm no good. The world says you're not qualified. And you're not good for anything. But God said, I put you here because I called you. And I qualified you. And if I, if I qualified you, I've approved you. And you don't need the world's approval to do for me. You just go and do for me. Amen. So somebody needed that, and you got it. Amen. Amen. God has called to you, and you're here because God wants you here, mm -hmm. and God's got a mission for you, and you need to come to Father. Amen. So at this time, we're just going to say, <laughs> we're not going to close unless we give you the opportunity to say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. I repent. Yes. I want you to be my Lord and Savior. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And he's going to come. And you know what? Today you're going to start a new life with Him. Yes. This is church's new beginnings. Today yes. you'll have a new beginning with Amen. Him. Amen. Amen. Start your walk with Him. And start yes. changing things. And start yes. being available to Him. Amen. Amen. And uh, know that the Bible says you can do all things through all Him things. who strengthens you. Amen. So Amen. praise God. If you have sickness in your body and you need a touch of God, the Bible says by Jesus Christ you will heal. Yes. It says leave That's at right. the cross. He went to the cross. He paid it all at the cross. Yes. Even by his stripes, you were healed. So sickness, whatever it is, touch that part of your body. Amen. Amen. If it's inside, touch that side. And just say, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. The Amen. word of God says, I believe it. Body line up with the word of God and be Amen. healed right now. I receive my healing. Yes. You receive it. You say it. I receive healing in my body right now in Jesus' name. Amen. So praise God. <laughs> Me too. I receive it too. Yeah. And those of you that are watching or listening, and this is a good time for you to give your tithe your offerings. Just go to our website. It should be on the screen. Uh, NBCBigBen.com And just hit that donate button. Thank you, brother. If you mail in NBC PO Box 252 Marfa, Texas 79843. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And we just want to say God loves you. 
And we love you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Everybody, stretch your hands.